Let's go to Queensland now. Emergency health systems there again under fire. A 51-year-old woman, a mum, died after waiting more than an hour and a half for an ambulance. She called with chest pain that never came. Joining me now to discuss this, Queensland Opposition Leader David Crisofulli. David, I don't know whether it's because I'm about that age, I'm 52, and I live in, 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 a, in a rich country like Australia, I expect if I call an ambulance, 15, 20 minutes, it will arrive. An hour and a half, it didn't. Um, the victim's sister spoke to the media last night. Have a listen. If they had have shown up, if they had have had the resources, instead of focusing on what they can do for Olympic Games, you know, put some more money into our hospital system and our health system, maybe... I mean, it's too late for my family. It's 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 too late. Yeah, this is this has really hit home across the country, David. What's the problem? Because in Australia, as I said, we should be able to expect you call an ambulance and an ambulance arrives. She was a single mum, Peter. Um, it, it's it's tragic. It's absolutely tragic. And and yet again, we the government will say we're going to do a review and we're full of remorse. But there's never accountability and there's never action. And I always use ambulance ramping as the figure that shows how sick the system is. When this government came to power in 2015, ambulance ramping had been reduced under the LNP from 30% to 15%. Today, ambulance ramping is at 43% the worst in the country. Now, what that means is that when the ambulance turns up at the hospital, they are unable to offload the patient because the hospital system is in crisis. That means that ambulance cannot get back out to help people like this 52-year-old woman. That's the consequence. Today, I stood with a family at Ipswich whose father died waiting for a bed to become available in an ambulance at the end of that ramp. It's got to stop and the government has to listen to our calls. Queensland Health is in crisis and no amount of reviews or mm. remorse will fix it. Only accountability and action will. I, I read this statistic today, Dave. You're going to tell me whether I'm, I'm way off the mark here, but, but it says that every single one of Queensland's serious youth crime repeat offenders, every single one has drug issues. Is that right? Well, I can tell you what is beyond doubt, and that is in the last 18 months, the number of repeat hardcore offenders have gone from 10% to 20%. So what's happening at the moment isn't working. And again, you talk about reviews and excuses and remorse. The government is now running around trying to say there are less offenders. Well, here's a news flash. There are more victims. There are more crimes. I don't think I've met a single Queenslander who cares about how many offenders there are. It's about the victim. And the government never talks about the victims. And they are there in record amounts. And the number of hardcore repeat offenders shows that. And Queensland is ground zero. If you live in Queensland, you are three times more likely to have your car pinched than if you live in New South Wales. That is ground zero in the youth crime crisis. Keep shining a light, David Crisofulli. I know that uh, you're indefatigable on these issues. Thank you for your time.